Hello, uh, today I'd like to just show you how to do a little bit of um, colouring with Brasho. And we'll make a card similar, sorry, um, to the one here using the Brasho Crystal pigments. And we're going to use the Brilliant Red and the, I believe it's called Gamboge, like an orange. I have my surface covered because the powder kind of spreads places you don't want it to. But it will be similar to this card. And I have to do it in two steps because the watercolor paper has to dry. So first, what I do is I just take a spray bottle with water and spray. See, you can see I already have some pigments on here and I haven't used it. And then you just take, I have three holes in the top of my containers. You don't usually want to take the covers off because it poofs out. So just keep your little uh, holes in the top. You can put a uh, push pin or something in the top to keep it from coming out when you're storing it. Mine's is just in the box. I don't put anything on mine. All right, so I put the red on, and now same thing with the orange. I have three holes in the top. So now we just sprinkle the orange wherever we want it. I actually want it more orange than I did red, and I've got a lot of red on here. And... I'm going to spray it down a little bit more because it's not as wet as I want it. But when you spray it, it spreads it out some more. All right. And what I do is I'll take a paper towel. Well, I have one underneath to soak it up, but on the edge like this, I just soak it up off the edge of the paper. You can dry this with your heat tool, but I prefer to just let it dry on its own. So I will return once it's dry and complete the video. Now that it's dry, I am just going to, I have in my bottle, I have actually, it's Wink of Stella. Um, uh, Wink of Stella brush that I took apart. I used two thirds alcohol, one third, or, or three parts um, alcohol, one part water. And then I dumped one of these Wink of Stellas in there, including the ball bearing, you can hear it. And it just puts a glitter spray. It dries really quick. So I just spray it on my projects to give it just a little sparkly shine. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can see it under the light. Now all I do is I take this and I cut it into, a sec into sections that I can use on my cards. So I could probably get at least four, maybe six, depending on the size cards I'm making out of this one watercolor paper. You could use the, the shimmer white paper as well. It comes out really well on that. It's a little damp. Hope you don't mind me running my heat tool. I'm just going to run it over this real quick. See if I can get it to dry just a little. Okay, now I'm back. So what I did was I took the sheet and I've just cut it up. I can get one, two, three, and I cut this one down to the size I need. So we'll set them aside. And now I have, I'm going to use the Calypso Coral, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I will have all the measurements on my blog. So all you need to do is burnish it with your bone folder to get your nice crease. Then I have a piece of black, basic black cardstock, and this measures four by
by five and a quarter. And then the watercolor paper, I cut down to three and three quarters by five. So three and three quarters by five. And like I said, again, I will have all the measurements on my blog. And I have a piece of the um, cardstock from, hold on. Mine is all chopped up into bits. Pull it out so I can tell you what it is. The Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series Paper. <clears throat> and I've showed you in previous videos, and it is in Occasions Catalog. So just go have a peek at it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the foil in it, the gold foil, and all the colors. It has your Calypso Coral and your peaches and your pinks and your um, rich raspberries. And what we're going to do is we're going to make like a stained glass looking butterfly. So we take our Versamark and we'll have our little embossing buddy and get all my fingerprints and any oils off of the paper. So you just rub it along with that. Oh, I need a stamp block. A block for my butterfly. So stick it on here. And it's a big um, stamp, so we're just going to do it this way. And Versa Mark is a clear ink. Oh, it's not sticking very well. Versa Mark's pulling it off. Like a very sticky clear ink. So we're going to stamp our butterfly where we would want it on this paper. So let's get a little bit of purple on him and stamp right there. Hold it for a second. Make sure it gets on there good. And pick it up. I don't know if you can see it, but you will once I put the powder on. So now you just take your little tray and your black embossing powder <clears throat> and we'll dump it over the top and just spread it all over and there you see the butterfly okay let me just scoot some more on see if we can get a little bit better coverage on it tap it off And wipe it off. Not that it matters. We're going to cut it off anyway. So put this lid on because it tends to fly. I will have to use my heat tool again. So I'll use it real quick. It does not take long. You will see it changing. So you just take your heating tool, hold it close. So it starts changing color and you see it going to a shiny black. Oh, you can blow it out the way. There we go. I think we are a good shiny black everywhere now. See? this cool just a sec and now all I had to do with this was fussy cut it out so you just cut around the black and I also did the sentiment in the same glossy black Okay, I cut out the butterfly, so it sort of looks like a stained glass butterfly now with all the different colors and the black. And now we'll take our uh, brush out part we did with all the glimmer spray on it, and we're going to do the same thing 
Well, but I wanted to show you this set. Uh, it's called Beautiful Day, and it has a nice big flower and a butterfly. It doesn't look big there, but they are. You've seen the butterfly, and that's the flower. And then it has two things. A happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you, and always thinking of you stamp um, sentiments. So we are going to take our embossing buddy and just rub it on the top in case I've got any oils from my fingers or anything on there. Stamp this with the Versamark. I'm going to put it in the same black powder. And here I go again. You can see it changing as you go along. It gets that nice shiny look. There we go. That's that. So now we're all prepped. This one takes a little longer than my normal card so I keep pausing my video so anyways all right so we'll have our base card of the Calypso Coral then our black and we will put the happy birthday on there and the butterfly so let's stick it together put some fast fuse on the black and remember if you need the measurements or instructions they will be on my blog. Oops. This tape is so sticky. I stick it everywhere. Okay. And then we'll take our next piece. Okay. I have my fast fuse coming off. All right. And we'll center this on here too. I'm going to put the take the butterfly and I just put my nail there and fold this wing up and fold the wing up on that side too well before I do that stick those back I'm going to put a bit of fast fuse in the middle so he sticks and then just uh, one on each wing just to hold it up so it doesn't lay back down flat. And then you just put them on. I think right there we get. So there's our card for today. Well, thank you for watching. And if you need any of the products, so if you go to my website, stampingnana.com, um, you can have all the measurements will be there and instructions the video plus other ones that I have done and if you click subscribe at the bottom of the video there is a, a button you can push and if you subscribe it will give you notifications when I upload a new video and I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this card as much as I did I think it's very pretty thank you bye